Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm still wearing my headband. Um, so today we're gonna go over real quick of my favorite winter products because spring is upon us, it's getting warmer outside and um, it's kind of warm outside where I can wear a long sleeve shirt with like a medium heavy jacket and kind of keep it pushing. But um, so we're gonna discuss about that today. So, okay, so I'm ready now, but um, be like pretty much a little trial tribulation things of stuff that I tried throughout this winter so here we go we're gonna start off because I have to leave a meeting in like 30 minutes so first things first skincare so I still use the Clinique I'm gonna put a picture I still use the Clinique um liquid soap for oily skin oily combination skin because that's what I have um but I have been using toners like actual toners so I use the Mario Beta School uh rose water toner and i mean my skin felt nice um was it clearer meh it gave me a good amount of hydration for the winter so i used that and i have been still using these serum drops that i got from marshall's for five dollars and there's one in the morning says rejuvenating they both have glycolic acid in it that's like the main reason why so i use the rejuvenating one in the morning and then i use the hydrating one at night because at night i want my skin to like Get as much hydration as it can so throughout the day it's still hydrated but i'm not oily you know what i mean and i use uh for a while for my under eyes i use the neutrogena hydro boost gel under eye cream um um yeah so um if you wear makeup quite often like i do like i wear like three or four times a week you gotta take care of your skin so i use the neutrogena hydro boost hydro boost under eye gel cream it, I think I dried out my under eyes. I used it for like a month because I feel like if you use a part for a month, you'll really get results. And it dried out my under eyes. And um, actually, one night when I was getting ready to go to bed, before I went to bed, there was like a huge ball of like crustiness right underneath this eye. So that was that was lovely. Um, it was like the last straw for me when I put it on, and then I noticed that my makeup would not adhere. You saw my black owned makeup video. You knew that my inner corner eye was not really cooperating. But, um, I'm using a different eye cream right now, but for that one, it did not make my eye makeup cooperate whatsoever. So, <laughs> like, at all. Like, it ruined the whole look. Like, with the one that I'm currently using, I could just make it all my matte eye, and right now, I'm still using it, I'm, I was able to put in a corner highlight. But, the other one, it was not, it was not it, fam, okay? So, I was just like, nah, we ain't doing that. So, yeah. I think for skincare that I've been using a lot is, I think my skin really loves the best just rose water like this is from amazon <laughs> it's um heritage store rose petals rose water eight ounces it was like five bucks five ten bucks and um my skin loves rose water so i am currently using the Mario better school glyconic acid toner but um you know when that baby f finishes i'm definitely going to keep it to this because before i remembered about the glyconic acid toner from Mario better school I was using this and my skin was doing really good with just this. So I'm about to use just rose water from now on. Another thing I've been using lately is patcho mm, Patchology, right? Patchology Flash Patch Rejuvening Eye Gels. I use do this once a week. Um, they're gel. It comes like a cute little little scooper thing that I have to clean so quite often because it gets messy really quick. I leave the lid on and there's the gels inside if this whole yeah there you go if this will focus there's gels inside this is a job it keeps them hydrated you know because that's when i knew that the um the neutrogena thing wasn't working because it made my under eyes burn when i use both of them together the other one that i'm using right now does not but <laughs> that one really did cause my eyes to burn uh, my family dragged me to Costco one day, and so I noticed that they have this brand called WEN, and they come with like eight packs of sheet masks. If you don't know, I love sheet masks. I use it like twice a week. And, um, it's not, it's not my favorite. <laughs> it was not my favorite type of sheet mask. My favorite sheet mask is actually from Tony Moly. That's what I've been using a lot right lately. Uh, I actually bought like a huge set for Macy's, because Macy's had like a little sale, and they had a set of like... 19 masks and that's set for life for, for a good nine weeks for me because I do sheet masks twice a week. Um, the only thing is that when they have a mask, this one's the, I don't even know because I threw out the box. 
It's actually Korean skincare mask. It's not my favorite. Like, <laughs> it's plastic and um, it's not like plastic. It's like a like a hybrid type of plastic, type of cloth, and it's wet. Cool. Um, but um, other than that. Uh, I was reading the email. Um, other than that, it wasn't my favorite. I like the size of the mask, though. This is, like, the perfect size mask for my face. Um, other, uh, all the other ones are kind of, like, it's a little bit too small, but these are, like, perfect size for my face. They have different types. And um, this is my last one, actually, that will be finishing next week. But it wasn't my favorite. I hold, I completely recommend for sheet masks, in my opinion, Dr. Jarts and, like, any of his sheet masks. Any, any one of them they are good or Tony Moly Tony Moly however if you don't like fragrance that they do have a fragrance some are stronger than the others just to let you know but they're really good um mud masks I was using the Lori I am using the L'Oreal Paris pure clay mask right now um when I feel oily on these days this kind of helps me save me um I bought all of their clay masks line. I first had, I don't even know what I first had, so this is my second one. It has a scent. Uh, I use it with a flat foundation brush to put it on evenly and leave it off 15 minutes, take it off, call her a day. Um, she's cute, that's it. Like, there's nothing really, like, amazing from her. Like, she does her job, but it's not like, oh my god, my skin is so perfect, da -da 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 -da. Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, she does her job, she does it well, so I'm still going to continue it for, like, a drugstore brand um what else for why I take off so what I changed my whole process of taking off my makeup throughout winter so now I use Clinique <laughs> I use the Clinique take the day off balm balm it is balm.com um <laughs> this is a really good balm I'm almost done with this you only need a little bit so this could last a good amount of time so I run out I have a spare and I use this and then I use the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Wipes. Love these babies. They're, like, these two combined are really good. And then I wash my face with the L'Oreal Paris, like, wash version of this. Face wash version of this. And then I use the Biore. Right now I use the Biore Charcoal Mid-Clear Water to, like, take off the rest of the residue. And that's just to take off my makeup, okay? That's before I do my skincare, okay? I, I like, I mainly, like, you know, you either see my makeup on or you don't throughout the week so there you go um but yeah those are like the main skincare things that I use the connect the combination of both the Clinique balm and the wipes honestly makes my makeup process removal go a lot faster than before like 10 minutes at most not even 10 minutes sometimes like five six minutes so like you know that's my baby <laughs> That was what I was doing, what I've been doing lately for taking out my makeup and all my skincare that I tried throughout winter, you know. But, um, yeah, so let's go on to makeup. So, I'm actually wearing some of the products today, and actually, if you have been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to start with brows, because I'm not the best brow person, as you can see, especially since this brow always tends to, like, mess me up. But for brows, I tend to use right now Benefit. So... I got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow, Goof Proof Brow, and I also got the Benefit Precisely My Brow. The Precisely My Brow is in shade number six, and the Goof Proof Brow is number five, and I set them with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Honestly, my favorite brow gel setter is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Nothing else really kind of did it for me like made them stay set that's what i do for my brows um now let me just tell you my theory about brows if i got my eyebrows freshly waxed i will use the precisely my brow because that just gets it way more precise now when they start growing out like right now especially this left eyebrow you know i use a mixture of both like i start off with the precisely my brow for the front and then i use the goof proof for the back you know even though like it's, <laughs> it's reverse shade but they're really close that like if you press this one hard enough they look exactly the same exactly the same so that's what I use right now today I actually use both because this eyebrow is doing perfectly fine you know growing out it's just this one <laughs> this one's my pain the behind brow that I honestly hate with every inch of my soul because even when I get my eyebrows waxed or anything they just be like yeah that one's um it just grows different so I don't understand but yeah that's what I use for my brows right now that's all I've been using for foundation all right 
So I've been switching between these two foundations. Right now what I'm wearing actually is the OG, triple OG of the, the winter. When I started, I would not stop wearing her. I'll just start wearing her again. Is the NARS Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm about halfway done with her when she's not shooken. And I use her with the NARS Pore Shine Control. Yeah, Pore and Shine Control Primer. Because I have oily combination skin, but I like the more radiant finish during the winter. And so... These two combined are honestly like set. And then when you use it with the the only concealer that I've been using for months, honestly, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, flawless finish, like so pretty, so pretty. Like it's 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 so pretty with this. I love this concealer. It's my baby. I think this is one of the best concealers that I own. The thing is that I like to finish products, and I own this for a good minute, which is good. But I'm also like, I'm always buying stuff. Like, I just bought another concealer that I did not need to buy. But I just wanted to buy it and I didn't feel bad. But now I feel bad because I'm only using this one. And I haven't used my other ones that I bought recently. So, you know. <laughs> um, so, but since I have oily skin and for me to make it like lock down all day. I use the NARS Pore Shine Control and the NARS Foundation with this concealer. But then I set it because I know it just lasts a lot longer with this one particular powder. Derma Blend Loose Powder, because I'm not getting it. The Derma Blend Loose Plap, like, set her with a Derma Blend Loose Powder, and I'm set all day. Just concealer, because that's my oiliest zone, is where I put my concealer at. And when so when I set this concealer with this foundation, with the Derma Blend Loose Powder in original, it's staying on all day, and I don't really get oily. Like, it's good. Like, look at this finish, yo. There's something at my nose. Stop that. This <laughs> is, like... I get the cracking up here as usual and like around my mouth, but it's pretty good and I love her. Um, another foundation that I've been wearing a lot lately that if you have been watching me for a while you would know is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Especially with this concealer is a bad boy. But what I've noticed with these two is that I personally like it better with the Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Powder. So I'm always switching between the Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Powder or the Derma Blend Original Loose Powder. So yeah. So these were my favorite foundations and concealers, concealer of winter. And those were my favorite, favorite setting powders. With the Too Faced uh, foundation for primer, I use either the Peachy Matte Primer, no, the Prime the Peachy Cooling Matte Primer or the Hangover RX Primer on the outside perimeter. And the inside, I either use the, I lost it, the Becca, <laughs> the Becca Velvet Matte Blurring, Matte Blurring Primer in the center or the Becca Ever Matte, I don't know where it is, the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer in the center. That's just what I use. And for the winter, for contouring, has been a combination of either my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Espresso Match Stick. Um, I used her today. Or I use the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette. Um, Especially when I'm in, like in a rush because this has everything. Everything like this has my like if I just want to like put on my foundation and kind of keep it pushing with one thing, it has my contour, it has my blush, it has my highlighter, and if I want to actually cut my contour for once, I can use this. So there you go. Um, but actually throughout winter, I've been bronzing a lot with the ColourPop pressed powder in the shade, the darkest shade that they have, bits and pieces. This is a good bronzer. I really like it, so I'm not really planning on buying another bronzer until that runs out. Collection. Um, my favorite setting powder all over, if you did not know. I usually use the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in NW50, but that girl just broke on me. So actually lately, what I've been using more is the Fenty Pro Filter Loose Powder in the shade Nutmeg. I love it. I used it today. Um, <laughs> it works pretty much with every foundation. The Laura Mercier Medium Deep one kind of works with certain ones. I'm still figuring it out, you know what I mean? So there you go um my favorite palettes that i've been playing with this semester this semester this winter session is the juvia's place nubian palette the neutral palette that i use quite often you probably see me use this on my youtube channel quite often it has on neutrals and especially when i'm going to work like i just wear neutrals and call it a day um especially since it like allowed us to wear like whatever we want i just kept it neutral it's just so it could be more approachable um Another palette that I use a lot is the Dose of Colors Snow Angels palette. I don't know if they sell this anymore because I got it from Ulta, but look at this beautiful palette, yo. I didn't really use her on camera, but I use her a lot off camera, okay? This this is my baby. This this is my girl. Do you see these blues? Like, I'm a sucker for blues, so like, this, 
this is a really beautiful formula. I'm really down to buy more those colors, those color eyeshadows. Like I really love it, and I just, I just really love this palette. So this is like one of my favorite winter palettes of this past winter. <laughs> I switched between two blushes, which is the Patrick Star Spring Collection blush of the shade Take Take Me Home. Like I kept on, I just kept on going for these mauvey colors this is so pretty and i just really love it and i'm like yo this is like this is my this is my type of blush you know because i'm like this is so cute you know <laughs> i just kept on using this a lot in the winter don't ask me why i just really love it because mac has really good formulas for blushes especially when you mix them together like ugh, you know like ugh, it's, it's so good <laughs> so that's what i've been using but i've also been obsessed with the milani baked blushes i got the shade red vino um this is my go-to blush for a neutral day like today i'm wearing her today this is so cute i love her like be careful with her though she's very pigmented and she has like a small little glow so you can apply a less highlighter so yeah i highly recommend these these are affordable as hell they're great i love them these are my babies i am really set to buy all of them but i just bought a blush palette from Juvia's place so i'm kind of like you know i need to stop <laughs> but like this is like my favorite blush from this one we're gonna get the highlighters setting spray I only use like the same lipsticks I'm wearing right now, so like you know, you gotta get the gist of what I'm doing. Highlighters. So I I've been using like pretty much the same highlighters. So my favorite combination that I did this summer, I'm gonna print it out to you. I mixed your grounded with the with these two. Oh shoot, with these two. I mixed her with the MAC Gold Deposit and the Laura Mercier Seduction. When you combine those three, it's honestly bomb.com. First of all, I love all the highlighters by itself, but like MAC Gold Deposit is OG. I love her. She's my favorite. I will always have her in my month, my seasonal favorites because I always end up, end up wearing her irregardless. So this is one of my favorites. Um, and the Laura Mercier Seduction Highlighter is also one of my OG highlighters. I actually use a lot that I'm honestly surprised is still here because like... I use her so much that I'm kind of like, why aren't you empty? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, you, I use you a lot. Why are you still here? So this is like a really nice bronzy highlighter. And the other two are kind of gold, but the gold deposit is like strictly gold. And the coffee and cocoa palette highlighter is like gold, but like a little bit more yellow. So when you combine all three, it's like, it makes its own little unique goldy bronziness that's like close to my skin tone. And it's just lovely. Like, <laughs> just like, just, just let me melt in all this glitter, girl. Like, it was just so good. Um... If not that, I was always using the Artist Couture Jackie Aina highlighters in Le Bronze or Le Peach or together. Like, you know, these babies, especially Le Bronze. I use Le Bronze more than Le Peach. I use Le Peach when I'm doing like more peachy tone looks. These, <laughs> these were my favorites and they still are my favorite and I love it. And she better like put them back in stock because I'm recommending them to you guys and I don't know if it's in stock. So I'm so sorry, but you know, this is. This is bomb.com. The highlighter that I have been obsessed with lately is the, which is not in the usual family, is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy. I use her quite often also. She's like a more pinky rose gold color, but it's still like nice on my skin tone. And it's like, since everyone's like gold, but this one's kind of like, you see, kind of pink, pink, pink champagne. So pretty. So pretty. Like, I just... <laughs> Like, every time I look at her, I'm kind of like, hmm, I just want to wear her. Like, I use her with the Patrick Star blushes, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm rosy pink today. You can't tell me nothing. So I'm just like, these are my favorite ones, like, combination. I usually use those two with each other. But another thing, uh, since most of my highlighters are pretty kind of expensive, I found a highlighter from a friend that's also just as good. It's also, like, kind of cute. Elf! Elf has a highlighter. This is only online. I got it. On, I got it on Ulta, which I don't understand why this is online. It's in the shade Bronze Glow. It's literally that. It's a bronze glow. I use her quite often, also. And pretty much, these are all my like um, bronzy, glowy highlighters that I use. I own a lot of this shade. Okay. <laughs> I'm at work with my crusty ass, but um. I completely forgot to mention, okay, you can get all the texture today because that's terrible lighting at my job. Um, the highlighter I'm using today is actually Julia's Place Nubian Highlighter. It's a nice, dark, deep, bronzy highlighter that I love so much. Like, it's the one I usually go for when I'm doing like a neutral look. 
and you gotta be very careful with it because I use a very precise brush for it because it gets really blunt, like it gets really intense real quick. So I just highly recommend it. It's good. This is my go-to shade for highlight. So no, so those are my favorite for highlighters. Um, um, I always kind of use the same combination. I use the ColourPop Pitch Lip Liner because. This is my baby. I own two of these. I own two of these, and supposedly they discontinue it. And I think his new name is Central. It to be a new one. I'm not really sure, but that's what I've heard. So it's very creamy, very pigmented. It's my baby. I love her. <laughs> um, and I also generally always use the Mac Patrick Star collab collaboration in Mama Star for like a little nice taupey for like all around the lip, like you know, all around the lip, the little pinkness you see. I'm gonna tell you what's the center. All the pinkness you see in the center is usually that. Um, I love her. Um, now I use the Too Faced. What is this? I don't know. It looks like this. This is like what the bottle looks like. And I got her in skinny dipping. That's what's in the center. And I use her a lot. Or shades like that, like Urban Decay's Fuel and Fuel 2.0. I usually put those in the center of my lip where I'm doing like a nice little ombre lip type of thing. For my lips that's what you usually use in this winter but i definitely always always use even if i'm not wearing lipstick always used her i mentioned her in my last video beauty bakery lip gloss in the shade drive me glazy here she is she's almost done she's barely working it you know i'm i'm kind of upset that she's almost done honestly because i'm trying to keep it pushing um the thing is about me for the beauty bakery lip gloss is that it's not worth $20. Like, don't get me wrong. This is my baby. I love her with all my heart. But she's not worth $20. I'm not going to lie. She's really not worth $20. So, I think I most she'd be, she'd be worth, like, NYX <laughs> type of price. Like, I understand Beauty Bakery is kind of more of, um, Beauty Bakery is a prestige brand at Ulta. But, like, you know, this is cool. I redeemed all my points at Ulta to only pay, like, five bucks for all the lip glosses. And this one's my favorite. And, um, so yeah, that's what exactly I intend on doing with these lip glosses. Again, this is my baby, but I don't want to spend $20 on her. So when I get the Ulta points again to, like, redeem her for, like, a lot less, I will definitely do it. That's what I recommend. Or if you just want to wear your black home business and spend $20 on this, do whatever you want. It's cute. It's a lip gloss, so it's not long-lasting, but it's not sticky, but I love her. So yeah. <laughs> um... And the setting spray, all I use for setting sprays is Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. That's all I use. That's not going to change. I have all these other setting sprays that, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm already on my backup setting spray. So now I use my other setting sprays so I can like still have my Urban Decay, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling about products for like a good 24 minutes as I'm recording. Um, I also don't have a book recommendation this week because um, while I was reading the book for my classes this week, I had migraines so I really don't know what I'm reading so <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out but I do recommend the show okay, so like if you don't really know okay so I'm gonna recommend you a show my favorite show that even when I'm feeling anxious or whatever always makes me laugh um is Parks and Recreation I love that show that's my baby Ron Swanson to this day um <laughs> it's kind of like The Office but like not like I don't like The Office I like only Parks and Recreation because it actually it's actually funny to me like I like The Office like you know competition clips that I see but like when I actually try to sit down and watch them kind of like eh, whatever so I'm sorry if I offended you but I'm a Parks and Recreation girl so like I highly recommend it I love Ron Swanson I love everybody but Ron Swanson is my number one uh <laughs> it's my favorite show in the world so yeah I highly recommend it but um other than that I hope you guys have a nice and lovely day I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I see you in my next one Jesus